All right, Coach McFarland. Team trophy, you guys are going to take fourth. You're going to tie with NC State. Yeah. Uh, you know, two tough finals for you guys. You know, yeah. You, two guys in the finals. Yep. So we're in a, it's in the right direction. A team trophy back to Ann Arbor, right direction. Maybe not the color you want, but Michich match. Getting taken down 6 0, getting digging out of that hole. Yeah, we needed to get that first takedown. It was close. I mean, you know, I mean, it was, uh, it was close to whether or not that was going to be two. I think that could have changed the whole match, but, you know, we didn't get the call. And, and uh, we gave it first takedown, then we then we uh, then we get turned, so we're down we're down six, and that's a tough comeback after that. But I think Stev uh, I think Stev started putting it together on his feet and and, uh, and getting after him and taking him down, letting him go and taking him down. But just just at the end of the day, it just wasn't enough to overcome. And then you know it comes down to a third. It, that's what that's going to come down to. Adam dominated him in the duel. Wasn't close, right? Yeah. But it, you know, and that's yeah. how Kyle, had, Kyle gonna, changed it. Though. Yeah. Well, they got to make adjustments and stuff. And and um, you know he just he. he you know, he thought he had a good setup going, and, and uh, he didn't quite pass that elbow and, and, and got whipped over and, until he made a mistake. He made a mistake, you know, and it, it cost you in some of these big matches, you know. What are your feelings, you know, as far as a team taking, you know, fourth place home back to Ann Arbor? You get a trophy, yeah, not the I mean, color it's, you it's, want. It, it, yeah, but it's, it's, I mean, everybody knows here. I mean, you've been coaching long enough. It, it, you know, people know how tough it is to get up on that podium, you know, with a team. It really is, and, and uh, I'm proud of our guys. I mean, I'm proud of of uh, the effort we've had all season. These guys have been there training hard. We talked about this last summer about getting back on the podium. You know, yeah, we wanted, you know, we wanted to be a little, little bit higher up on that, on that team podium. But um, you know, hey, you know, fourth place, nothing to be, uh, nothing to be ashamed of at this tournament. You know, a lot of quality teams here. Dom Avenator finally gets over the, the hump, man. You and I had a little bit of a thing there. Yeah. I thought he should have gone neutral. He wins if he just goes neutral and gets the 16 seconds right time. Am I wrong there? Yeah, but not necessarily though. I mean, um, you know, we, he made the right call. He made the Don made the right call, and, and uh, it worked out in his, his his favor. You know, so you put that on him. You you say hey, you make time, that choice. Oh yeah, yeah, no question about it. These guys got to be able to call their matches. I mean, these are these these are. I mean, these guys put an incredible amount of time as as wrestlers and stuff. The hard training they go through. When it comes down to close calls like that or decisions like that, sometimes you gotta you gotta ask. You, and these gotta let these guys make the call. Don made the call. You know. He made the call, so I mean that was and it, it worked out for him. Massa wasn't Massa all year, okay? Hurt, didn't yeah, look like yeah, himself, fought man. Some, fought through some injuries, and, and you know, obviously never never got back 100. percent Logan's a great kid, and he'll be back. He'll be back 100 percent next year and ready to go, and he'll uh, he'll be he'll be in the hunt at that weight class. But yeah, he just it's just tough, you know. It's a tough weight class, and he just just never made it back 100. percent So I feel bad for Logan. He just, just didn't have a, didn't have a great time. Mass or. Uh, uh, Looking at 125, you know, Matten. Yeah. Wrestling him right away. You yeah, know. Drew did a great job this year. I mean, really had some great wins. And, and uh, you know, as a young kid, I, I wrestled my freshman year too. And, and it's a grind, and, and probably even more so now now in the Big Ten. You know, I mean, you don't get a weekend off in the Big Ten. I mean, it's not like you know, every weekend you wrestle ranked guys. I mean, look at some of those 25 pounders at that in the, in the Big Ten conference. And, and uh, you know, Drew, Drew uh, did a great job this year, and I think uh, you know he was disappointed to get up on the podium, and uh, you know he had his sights set on that, and, and uh, he'll he'll come back next year stronger and even better, and, and um, you know um, I, I think um, he got a lot of great college experience this year, man, and he, he knows what it's about now. He knows what it's going to take to get get up on the podium. He knows what kind of intensity he needs, and, and uh, he'll keep working. Man, he's a, he's a He's a workhorse. The kid loves to train, and, and uh, he's, he's going to do some great things for the Wolverines. Mean brothers, quickly. You guys got to go in your trophy, but mean brothers, they're, they're, tougher than, they're tougher than nails. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Malik and Miles. Yep, yep. Both great kids and trained hard and committed to it. Um, you know, obviously, Miles had a great tournament. Um, you, know, you just see those improvements that he's made, even from last year. You know, being fourth last year and coming back and getting a third this year. I mean, at a tough weight. And then. Uh, was right there. It was right there. You know, probably made some mistakes in the, in, in the semi match and, and uh, got some you know, what, I, what I would consider some tough tough calls. You know, uh, a couple penalty points um, hurt him, but um, yeah, he came back like a champ and, and ended up third. And that's a that's a Pantaleo. Two Michi two sons of Michigan men, right? Yeah, Pantaleo and and Amins, right? Well, uncle, uncle, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and say Alec, right? Alec Pantaleo is a is a nephew of, of Joe Joe Pantaleo is his uncle. But keeping those guys around, Michigan men around, Torellas around, all the coaches are Michigan That's men. Great. How important yeah. is it to you? That's great, man. It's like a big family, and it's great seeing these guys that, that I either wrestled with or, or they're, that were you know part of the Michigan program have sons come through the program, and uh, and we've had multiple um, father son you know father sons come through our program. So it's it's a uh, for me it's an honor you know to have, have that. I think it says a lot about a program. Coming back to Cleveland, how good did it feel? 
It's great, man. It's great being in hometown. You know, my dad was a Cleveland firefighter. You know, retired after uh, 33 years, the Cleveland Fire Department, right down about four or five blocks uh, east of here. And, uh, you know, so, you know, we sort of obviously grew up in Cleveland, and, and uh, it was great to be home. And, of course, the Cleveland fans showed up in, in, in numbers, and, and I don't know what the total tally was, but uh, it's always good to get back to Cleveland and especially see the enthusiasm that the Cleveland fans have for us in here and the passion they have for it. All right, go get your team trophy. You Congratulations it, on a trophy, Coach. Yeah, appreciate it.